So it looks like Elizabeth Warren shot herself in the foot. <laughs> right? Ah, Pocahontas. Disqualified. I know I'm a little late for this, but uh, yesterday. Um, so Pocahontas, it's it's uh, definitely topicable because uh, Elizabeth Warren, the good senator from the state of Massachusetts, very big liberal state, is a viable candidate for the presidency against Trump. You don't believe it? You better believe it. You think because she lied about being an Indian that matters? No way. Looney left. They don't care about that shit. All they care about is she's not Trump. So what happened? Let's just talk about the facts. So Elizabeth Warren is the senator from Massachusetts. And for the longest time she's been claiming that she's a a minority. She looks like a white lady, right? From Massachusetts. But she's a minority. No, no. She is a Native American. Heritage. <laughs> right? She's been saying it for years and years, all the way back in the 90s. She went to Harvard. She was a teacher at Harvard. And she identified herself as a Native American. Does it matter? Should we be able to call ourselves whatever we want? Identify ourselves as black, white, yellow, red, green, purple, whatever, right? Who cares? Yeah. But when we use it for personal gain, when we use it to bend the law, which we have in this country, you remember? Discrimination laws, Civil Rights Act of 1964. Here in New York, the New York State Division of Human Rights, Human Rights Law, right? These are laws. These are not just ideas, but they're laws that, that protect people based on that law. So did she, did she lie? Well, let's look at did she lie at all, right? Did, did Elizabeth Warren lie? There's a beeping sound. I'm trying to get away from the beeper. Beeping sound. Did she lie? Well, she took a DNA test and it came back 1% between 1% and one-tenth of 1%. So, one one thousandth, one one hundredth to one one thousandth. She's Native American Indian. That's the percentage of how much Native American blood she has. And then a cool, the cool thing, a senator, <laughs> one of the Republican senators took a DNA test. And it showed him like, uh, like, like 84% T-Rex. <laughs> like, he's got dinosaur blood. It's ridiculous what what Elizabeth Warren has been saying all the time, right? So, well, let's argue. Let's argue this: Was it for political gain? Was it for personal? Did she lie? Lie? She lied because to be one one hundredth of a percent of anything is not valid. Obama is fifty percent white. And 50% black. Now, is that disputable? No. It's obvious. It's something that we could see with our own eyes and we can experience. But when Elizabeth Warren says, I'm Native American heritage, it's, it's laughable and it's, it's denigrating to the very people that are of that minority. Right? Even the, the um, what is it, the, the Cherokee Nation spoke up. Woo! <laughs> the, the Indians said that she's, she's full of shit. Right? Crazy, right? Politics, right? 
Does it disqualify her for being the running as president? In my view, it it does. But in in the view of the lunatic left, you think they give a shit? They don't care. They don't care. They're like they'll do anything. They'll say anything to get to to, to get rid of Trump. So, what did Trump say? Trump said, "Is there's, there's a couple of there's a couple of falsehoods that Trump threw out there just to, like he's throwing a monkey wrench into." He said that um, she applied as a Native American to get into schools. That's false. She didn't apply. She self-listed herself in certain directories or something. But she didn't actually apply as a minority. That appears to be false. Um, she does still, there's plenty of video to see that she considers herself as having Native American background. Self-proclaimed. Right? There's a guy, interesting, another video, Charles Freed, head of Harvard appointing committee, said it had nothing to do with her getting the job at Harvard. Her Native blood. So that's a Harvard Harvard appointee guy saying that it had nothing to do with her. Oh no no, Native American Elizabeth Warren had, no, that had nothing to do with her getting the job at Harvard. There was another thing floating around that said that she was paid um, three hundred fifty thousand dollars to teach one class. That also can't be confirmed. So let's just you know let's just stick with the facts. You know we're trying to. De- we're trying to diffuse a falsehood. We don't want to lie. We want to t- tell the truth about it, right? We want to see what the truth is about it, right? But she's claiming to be a minority, right? That's pretty heavy. Right? That's pretty heavy. I- I'll be honest, you know, and I'll-, I'll go on the record as saying this because I don't think anybody else will. But. Perhaps right now, the most discriminated uh, human being in America right now that suffers the most discrimination of anybody is the white male, older white male. There, I said it. Is it true? Yeah. Disadvantaged all the way. Right? You, you're, you're openly discriminated against for being white, male, and older because you have privilege. No, no, no. You have advantage because of your whiteness and your maleness and your elderness. Am I making it up? No. I mean, I am, I am that thing. I am that category. White, male, and over 50 right and I was in a place a municipality where I was in the 10 percentile less than that I was in you know one in a hundred were in my category and, and I was openly discriminated against like it like it, it's a, it's laughable to, to, to say oh you you can't be discriminated against you're you're what discriminates against us you're the white older male. So, is that a valid category to be discriminated against? The white older male? Yes, of course it is. In the eyes of the law, try to fight it. I did. <laughs> you get laughed at because it's unthinkable. But back to the 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 honorable Elizabeth Warren. See, this is the tragedy here is the, the tragedy is, is that the Democrats have banked on identity politics. Because that's their whole shit, right? Elizabeth Warren is not only a fraud in terms of her, of this latest lie about her DNA, but she's also a fraud about her follow through in terms of financial uh, willingness to challenge the banks which she hasn't done and will not do and you know she's totally in the bank totally in the pocket of the corporations I was one other lie that said that um, 
that she owns a 5.4 million dollar home in DC or something that also can't be confirmed so and 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 to be honest to be to be in defense of senators that senators in the United States have to have two residencies they have to have one in DC and they have to have one in their home state so that's that's legitimate everybody's oh Bernie Sanders he's got two houses three houses no, he's a, as a senator he's supposed to have at least he's supposed to have a home in DC they all have to have a residency in DC so again does it disqualify is is Elizabeth Warren when she comes out and says, I'm Cherokee, <laughs> and she runs for president, she's going to try. There's no doubt about it. Right? And Trump is going to lay into her. Every other word is going to be Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Ah. Because of her high cheekbones, she's Cherokee. Right? He's going he's gonna to totally annihilate her. And rightfully so, because she's disrespectful to the people that are disadvantaged. Right? Is that what we're talking about? Because you're fucking Native American, you're disadvantaged, right? That's what it's all about. Right? The sense of, oh, it's so sensitive. Such a sensitive topic. Oh. But she lied. Even the Cherokee said, the Cherokee tribe said, oh, no. <laughs> No, 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 no box. There's no box that proves your, your heritage. You can't buy that shit in the store. That's Cherokee Indian saying that. So she's got no, she's got no, no standing in the, in the community. And where was she? See, if it wasn't politically motivated and it wasn't personally motivated, right? Or maybe she just cares about Cherokee Indians. And I'll, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it with this one. When Standing Rock... Remember Standing Rock? You remember when the when the when the oil companies were were running a fucking oil pipe under the Mississippi River through Standing Rock? You remember that? Where was Elizabeth Warren defending her people? Nowhere to be found, right? So if she's such a, a big Indian, woo! Right? And it wasn't for personal gain. Where is there one example in her whole life, political or personal, where she has stood on the side of the Indian? My name is Marcus Conti reporting.